coverage now of a story we first brought you at 5. A preliminary investigation by the South Carolina Governor's Office shows a misappropriation of funds by an upstate agency that assists low-income families. That agency is Piedmont Community Action. And tonight, board members met with state officials to determine how to move forward. News 4's Liz Loheis was at that meeting and joins us live with more. Liz? Nigel and Carol, I am live here outside the ZL Madden Center where the meeting between PCA and state officials got a little heated. Complaints and accusations of mismanaged funds by Piedmont Community Action sparked a four month investigation into the agency. Tonight, the preliminary findings were shared. Several officials from different departments at the governor's office met with PCA board members to explain the severity of the accusations. But some of the work that's been done on these houses is shoddy. Some people are left worse off than when the people came in. PCA offers a weatherization assistance program to help low income families get insulation, new windows, and even new heating and air units for free. After several complaints of mismanaged funds, the South Carolina Governor's Office of Economic Opportunity was asked to investigate. They looked at 67 of the 670 homes that were weatherized, and according to the report, the majority of the work was either unfinished or left in worse condition. So the question is, where did the money that was supposed to be used for that work go? If PCA can't give state officials an answer, they could owe up to $3 million. This, this report is not etched in stone. But it, it, it is. is it is, Ms. Miller. We, we have the media sitting here because they think we've done something terribly wrong. It is it. We cannot go back and take back what has been said and done. PCA Executive Director Dr. Willie Ross says he feels confident the board will be able to come up with an explanation to the accusations, but fears the damage to the agency has been done. It, it is almost like there is an effort to take and turn our community against this agency for the good that we have done. Now, PCA has 15 days to present an action plan to the governor's office that lays out where they went wrong and how they could fix it. But again, they could owe up to $3 million. Liz Lohe, WYFF News 4, live in Spartanburg.